Coach, there's probably not too many better feelings than finishing off non-conference play on an eight-match win streak. What have you liked about what your group's accomplished over this three-week stretch? Well, the fact that we've done them all away from home, uh, we've already won more away matches than all of last year. So that's encouraging because it hasn't been at easy places to get that done either. So um, winning some tough ones, big crowds, rowdy crowds, um, I think those types of things mentally for sure will get us ready uh, for going on the road in the SEC. And just that feeling of winning, you just can't beat it, you know, and, and it's contagious just like losing. Um, so for us right now, we're playing with a lot of confidence, especially late in sets, late in matches. You're getting your sixth stint in SEC play. What makes the Southeastern Conference so challenging to prepare for? Everybody's just so good. I mean, it's, I know that's probably gets overstated and it in our conference I don't think we get enough respect nationally but from top to bottom uh, we just a lot of talent a lot of good coaching um, anybody on any given day can, can beat each other and we're going to see that this year uh, the, the conference coming into conference play with over a 70 percent winning percentage and you know for the most part we haven't as a conference played easy schedules we played good schedules so you're going to see a lot of high RPI teams um, night in and night out. I mean, that's what makes the SEC so great is just talent, coaching, facilities. Uh, you know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see definitely top three or four when it's all said and done make deep runs in the NCAA tournament. One of those teams that made it last year was Tennessee. That's who you'll be opening league play up with. Uh, what does what Eve's team do that makes them challenging to face? Well, Eve just, they've done such a, her and her staff have done such a great job uh, with that program. Uh, not only a, a great kind of bounce back season last year, if you will, but also coming out strong this year. They look like they haven't hardly missed a beat. Uh, they are a team that plays with a ton of confidence, a ton of emotion. Um, they're going to be a tough out for, for anybody in the conference. And, and again, I think they're one of the teams in our conference that definitely in the preseason and as this season goes on is going to be one of those that's looking at a bid in the NCAA tournament. So gone for three weeks and your squad gets a chance to play back here in front of the home crowd again and then are on the road again for a little bit. How important will it be uh, for, for these girls to be back in front of the home fans? Well, hopefully uh, this time will be a little bit better than the first time we were here. Um, you know, starting that home tournament off 0-3 is not a – Great way to start the season, but you know, you look at those teams now. I mean, Rice is a top 25 team, UCF, Iowa State, both getting uh, votes from time to time in the ABCA poll. I mean, they were three really good teams, and it allowed us uh, kind of to do a, a check for our team of where we were at, and, and has really has allowed us the last three weeks to work on things we know we need to get better at, uh, and we have to be ready for SEC play. So. Uh, excited to play a, a really good Tennessee team this Friday. Uh, hopefully we'll get a big crowd, and then we're away for three more matches, and then we're home for a little bit. So, um, you know, we're, we're road tested. Now we need to come back home and, and show that we've improved over the last three weeks.